you were 10 years old when you first saw Star Wars and you were like, I want to make some movies. Sure. Then we're here on your latest movie, Rebel Moon. Yeah. I loved it. Awesome. From start to finish. What was the first idea of Rebel Moon? And when did you have this idea? And how much did it take for you to finish this story? Well, it's taken us quite, obviously, obviously it's been an epic journey. Uh, I think for me, the, the sort of, I guess what it always was, was like underdog story. That was always in there. There was always the farm, and then there was always the bad guys that came and wanted to take everything and destroy them. And then like, what do they do? How do they, do they run? Do they stay? Is, is their home that important to them? You know, and that's really how it, those are the elements that never left. You know? Okay. And I think over time it's evolved into, as you develop your own mythology, as you develop your, all the characters start to come to life, and like start to inherit in, in, inhabit the world, uh, everything kind of changes for the better. In that, the it becomes starts to become real. You know, it starts to become the characters have their own ideas about what they want to do. The story has its own ideas, takes on life, and starts to live. And I think that to me is the that's the that's the part where the movie sort of becomes like its own thing and really is a super rewarding thing because when you watch the movie you're like wow yes. like, I never would have thought it would be that you know? <laughs> creating this world and this story I know you, you like to make storyboards oh uh, yeah to show everyone your sure. vision sure. Uh, how many drawings did you do for Real Moon or, or how many pages does your storyboard for this, have for this movie I did almost 4,000 drawings wow. and uh, pages I, I'm not even sure how many pages it is it's lots of pages yeah. But um, yeah, and it, it it is the way I like to work. I think it, it it really everyone gets to understand like kind of what the shots are going to be and how we're going to go forward. And um, depending on the idea, I'll spend you know if it's kind of I can do a pretty quick sketch. But mostly I do the really good drawings when I don't know what I'm going to do next. Okay, because okay. I'm just sort of sitting on this one frame, so it, you can tell it's overworked. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, so. The real answer is like, yeah, almost 4,000. Wow. And if you were a rebel in, in, in the movie, yeah, sure. what will your skill or superpower be? Imagined or real? Real. Oh, my real skill. <laughs> That's tough. Probably some sort of, uh, I mean, just because of the job, yeah. probably some <laughs> okay. sort of general, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, you, obviously, I... You know how to work with people. I'm organizing a big army all the time, so that's probably it. Perfect. Sadly. <laughs> no, that, that, that's a great skill. Great, I'm an administrator. Everybody needs leaders. I guess so. And uh, advice to me or other filmmakers mm -hmm. on movie making? So my advice is you are the only one who knows how you look at the world, right? That's You're right. the only one who can say, I think it should be this. Don't rely on other people's points of view. You take their advice, of course, when you find it helpful, but really in the end, you have to like understand what you want to say and the way you want to say it. That to me is the most important thing. My favorite movies are really the movies where I feel like personal for the filmmaker, right? Their point of view is very strong. Those are the movies I like. I don't want to see it from my point of view. I see that every day. I want to see someone else. Movies, at their best, you get to go sort of look through the eyes of someone else, right? You need to cultivate that as much as you can. You need to live that as hard as you can. Really be true to yourself. I love it. Well, that's it. Uh, can you please say to my audience to watch Rebel Moon? Guys, uh, check out Rebel Moon. It's coming to Netflix on December 22nd. Zack Snyder. Woo! Venga. <laughs>